Hello everybody, my name is Davis and welcome back to another Superhero Versus. And recently I made a Phase 1 Avengers versus the Justice League episode. And it was basically showing why the Justice League would destroy, like any one of them could 1v6 the entire first 6 Phase 1 Avengers. So today, I thought I might as well amp up the challenge a bit and bring in the six most powerful MCU characters of all time. So that includes Doctor Strange, Captain Marvel, Wanda, Vision, Thor with Stormbreaker, and Iron Man Mark 84. Now, obviously we're going up against the Justice League again, which consists of Flash, Superman, Cyborg, Wonder Woman, Batman, and Aquaman. So, basically, I just took all the six uh, most powerful Marvel members that uh, might be able to beat the Justice League this time. So, anyways, starting off, Captain Marvel and Superman are pretty much an even match. There's no other way to put it. They're basically the same thing, and, you know, they'll both be taken out by the time they're done fighting. So, we can pretty much just ignore those two, because they're both just going to be in one massive fight. Now, Wanda, if you've seen Multiverse of Madness, you know can tear a lot of these people apart. Uh, probably Cyborg, probably not Flash, she might be able to do some stuff to Batman, maybe, yeah, definitely Aquaman, but Wonder Woman's probably still got her, however, if Doctor Strange and her team up, uh, Doctor Strange, obviously, honestly, Doctor Strange could just open a portal if somebody tries to attack him and make them jump through into, like, a portal of, like, a, into a volcano or something, I don't know. But, I mean, I don't know, though. He really doesn't do stuff like that that often. Um, Thor Stormbreaker is definitely going to help out a lot because Stormbreaker is actually a lot more powerful than people give it credit for. It is more powerful than the Power Stone, which is one of the six stones that kind of created the universe. So, Stormbreaker is going to help out an absolute ton. Um, the main problem here is Wonder Woman because she's got that shield, obviously, which is at least comparable to Captain America's shield. Uh, she is super fast, uh, and she's got her sword. However, though, I think if most of the Avengers get together, they could easily take her out. And then, honestly, the rest of the squad's not really a problem. Like I mentioned, Wanda's got Cyborg, maybe Flash, Batman, and Aquaman. And honestly, if Wanda doesn't get Flash, Iron Man would probably figure out some way to stop him. And uh, we've also got Vision, which I haven't talked about too much so far, but he can just burn a hole through anybody. So, you know, he's definitely going to help out quite a bit too. So, honestly, I think this time the Avengers actually win. Obviously, we had to take the six strongest characters in the entire universe that has been going for years and years and over like a decade now. But, you know, they still did it. Uh, somehow, they managed to beat the Justice League. That just proves how strong of a team the Justice League is. The Avengers had to get their six strongest members over, like, a span of 14 years. And they still barely win this battle here. But overall, I think that they do win. Uh, if you guys agree, make sure to like and subscribe. And let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. And uh, anyways, also let me know what you want to see in the next uh, Superhero Versus episode. But I will see you in the next one for now. And peace.